This is the issue, and I am the ghetto man. Today's issue, a short message to Virginia patriots in regards to the Second Amendment. Please, please do not let your traitorous, perverted, commiecrat governor get away with his crimes. It's time to indict him, and it's time to indict any other Virginia public servant that is in violation of their oath of office, too. You see, the rights contained in the Second Amendment are not open for debate. Our right to defend ourselves, our families, and our countries is an inalienable right, a right so fundamental that it is an act of treason for any public servant to even suggest creating a law against it. As the Supreme Court has ruled, quote, the right to keep and bear arms exists independent of the Constitution or the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment has no other effect than to restrict the powers of the national government, unquote. United States versus Krushank, 92 U.S. 542. All that gun control laws do is validate a citizen's inalienable right to own a firearm. It also validates their constitutional duty to use that firearm in defense of the republic. Every citizen in this nation has the right to own a firearm and to own a firearm, quote, of the kind in common usage at the time, unquote. Quoting from the United States Supreme Court again, quote, All males physically capable of acting in concert for the common defense, that ordinarily, when called for service, these men were expected to appear bearing arms supplied by themselves and of the kind in common usage at the time. This can be found in United States of America versus Miller, 307 U.S. 174. And the court is referring to the militia here. We the people are the sovereigns, and we have an inalienable right to ignore all, and I mean that in quotations, all unconstitutional laws and all gun control laws are unconstitutional, period. End of argument. The people of Virginia must insist on enforcing the law. When I say the law, I'm talking about st the state and federal constitutional law. Every lawmaker in Virginia took an oath to uphold and fin their state constitution and the constitution of the United States. Everyone that's elected, regardless of their political persuasion, must take an oath or affirmation to uphold and defend the U.S. Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. Once they take that oath, they are no longer bound to a political party. They are bound by that oath. They are no longer a Democrat, a Republican, a Socialist, a Communist, an Independent or any other political persuasion. They are constitutionalists by contract. The oath is a contract. From that point forward, they are forbidden by the law of perjury and the law of treason from ever advancing any political agenda that is contrary to the United States Constitution. Any lawmaker that favors any gun control legislation is in violation of his or her oath of office, period. It's a crime for crying out loud. It is perjury. It is an act of treason for any public servant to even suggest creating a law that controls our right to keep and bear arms or any other right protected by the Bill of Rights for that matter. The people of Virginia must indict these lawbreakers for the violation of their oath of office. Perjury and treason are serious crimes. Removing them from office must be done by charging them with the crimes they have openly committed. 
than a trial, a conviction, and imprisonment or death if the law mandates it. Do not let these traitors push us into a hot war. The law is on our side. Let's use it. The law is perfectly clear on this matter. Your sheriff has the power to arrest these criminal lawmakers, or should I say lawbreakers, insist that he carries out his constitutional duty and arrest them all for perjury and treason. And to do it now, not tomorrow. Arrest any public servant that refuses to honor his or her oath of office, including a district attorney that may obstruct justice by refusing to prosecute. And if the sheriff won't do it, well, every citizen in this country has the inalienable right to execute a citizen's arrest on anyone that is committing a crime in their presence. And that includes the sheriff if he won't do his duty. As soon as a public servant violates the law, it is the citizen's responsibility to make sure that the law is obeyed. It's time to put an end to this commiecrat occupation nonsense. These people are traitors, and they have no legal standing in our republic, none whatsoever. You see, we the people are responsible for the enforcement of the U.S. Constitution, not the courts or any other government institution for that matter. If the U.S. Constitution is to be elevated to the highest position, the supreme law of the land, which it is, then we the people must live and breathe that law each and every day. It is our job to make sure our public servants honor their oath of office. All, and I mean all responsibility in enforcing the law lies in we the people. If this country falls, we only have ourselves to blame. I am the ghetto man. If you're politically correct, then you're legally wrong. And if you're not part of the solution, then you are the problem. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my BitChute channel and please share.